Hey guys, welcome to the video. I'm just going to get straight into this one because I'm absolutely fuming. Yet again, the Premier League is showing their bias, their, their agendas, yet again, in certain players they do not like on the football pitch, and especially in the Premier League. As you can see, two Manchester United players who I think should be deserved to be nominated. Not to win, not to be part of it, but definitely to be nominated. Number one has to be David De Gea. Like, Golden Glove, potential Golden Glove winner this season, and he's not even bloody nominated. Uh, and you got Kepa! You got bloody Kepa there! You got Alisson! Like, uh, what? What am I seeing? I, I just don't get Kepa is, is the biggest one. I don't know how the hell he's getting there, but whoever he's shagging in the Premier League, fucking good on him. Absolute joke. I, we're not even going to get into that right today. That's another video. But the one I'm more fuming about is absolutely Bruno Fernandes. How has Bruno Fernandes not got into this team of the season? Look at his stats. Look at his stats. Look at the way he plays. Right? I'm not saying he's the best in the Premier League, but he deserves to be nominated. Number one, he's Manchester United captain. He's got one of the best uh, win rates for Manchester United as a captain. Absolutely phenomenal this season. His mentality on the pitch is great. All right. He is a bit petulant. But that's just Bruno. That's him expressing the way he plays. The guy's had 49 appearances over 4,000 um, 4, minutes, right? 4,000 minutes, mind. Bear that in mind, okay? He's had 10 goals, 13 assists, okay? Absolutely fantastic. Right, now I'm going to go and show you Kevin De Bruyne's stats. Probably the best, best attacking midfielder in the world, definitely in the Premier League, right? Kevin De Bruyne, 40 games. Absolutely phenomenal, right? He's a machine. Best in the world, you can't fault him, okay? Seven goals, 25 assists. When you've got someone like Haaland up front, you're going to have assists. I hate to break it to you. And he can put a temper, he can put a ball in a, a, a penny, on a penny, on top of a horse's head. He's absolutely phenomenal, right? Deservedly there. Makes sense. Odegaard deserves to be there. Totally understand. And guess what? They are there. 100%. Look at his stats 38 games played. 11, uh, 11 goals, 8 assists, right? Absolutely fantastic. 2,000 minutes played. 3,000 minutes played. Bruno, still up there with 4,000 plus, mind you. So, even though he's played a game less, uh, he's played 9 games more, sorry, he still hasn't got in there. He still hasn't got into the team of the season, right? Because clearly he's had such a bad season, as you can tell, right? I'm livid about this, by the way. But then, you have a look at the list. I'm looking through, I'm thinking, oh, there must be some fantastic players on this list then for Bruno Fernandes not to get on it. Um, wait, Hoiberg? What? What am I seeing? Even James Madison? What the f*** am I seeing? What seasons are they at that are fucking absolutely insane? Odegaard, totally understand. Bruno, Casemiro, Gad Casemiro is on there. World class. Rodri, I get it. Uh, Bruno Gamirez, 100%. Fantastic season so far with uh, Newcastle. Um, uh, McAllister, absolutely phenomenal, brilliant, brilliant World Cup as well. Oh, absolutely insane. Paulinho, uh, Paulinho, hundred percent. Being Fulham, absolutely phenomenal for Fulham. James Madison, I don't get. I don't get that one. I'm sorry, I don't get it. Um, all the others, I totally get it. Right, I totally understand. But these two Tottenham players, uh, am I watching a different Premier League to these guys? Who selects these players? Who selects him? So I'm really confused. Number one, I haven't even looked at the rest yet, okay? I've gone straight for this. Number one, Kepa. Oh, what, what? Let's not go there. Then to see these two fools on the bottom. Don't go there. Let's have a look at strikers. This is the first time I'm seeing this now. Um, I totally understand the strikers. Yeah, they look all good to me. Nothing, nothing out of order there at all. Let's have a look at defenders. Thiago Silva, don't know why he's there. To be honest with you, what's he done? Um, Christian Romeo, yeah, okay, he's had a decent... But again, I just don't understand it. So let's have a little look now at Heuberg's stats compared to Bruno Fernandes, right? Because obviously he's such a good player to be on here, right? He's got to be miles ahead, right? Oh, wait. He's played 10 less games, 5 goals, 6 assists, and played 3,000 minutes. Wait. I have. Wow. Fucking hell. He, he's. He, he's fucking dog shit. 
that's why they are where they are in the league. I, I just don't get it. I just really don't understand this the, the selection. I, I, who are they? Who, I just don't get it. They must be getting paid. They must be getting paid. I do not understand how he has been nominated for Team of the Year, right? By the FA Premier League. And Bruno Fernandes is not there. You, you can't argue this. No, I don't care if you don't like him or not, right? He has been a revelation at Manchester United since he came. He had a bad season last season. Even then, no. He was still carrying the team. This season, he has thrived. Absolutely thrived. He's played, look at the, he's played right wing in camp. He's played everywhere on the pitch, right? He's even played as a false nine this season. And he's not deserving of the Premier League team. I just don't get it. Let, this is the one that confused me. Uh, ben Takas, right? Let's have a little look at him, man. Wait, 26 games this season? 2,000 minutes. So he's played half the games. Of Bruno Fernandes, right? So this guy can't even bother to turn. He can't even get in the squad of a team that is terrible, right? He scored six goals, two assists. I, I, I fucking hell! What, what am I? I just don't get it. I really do not understand how these players are getting in front of Bruno Fernandes. I just don't get it. There must be some sort of gender. Someone in the Premier League does not like Bruno Fernandes, and that's a fact. This is just proving it, right? Let alone the David De Gea hate. Do you know what I mean? It's because, yet again, it's got to be some sort of English bias, man. I just don't get it. I just don't understand it. it. It infuriates me, right? How two players who have barely played half the games he has, mind, and they can't even get in the team. Third in the Premier League, our best player this season, arguably, you know what I mean, Casemiro, David De Gea, um, Luke Shaw, you've got uh, Rashford, all these players. And our best, and our captain, let's be fair now, Harry Maguire has been playing, and he can't even get in the team of the year. This is an absolute disgrace. Absolute disgrace, and it needs to be called out. It needs to be called out. I, 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 I'm fuming. Let me know in the comments, guys, what you think. But for me, this is an absolute disgrace. From the Premier League. Absolute disgrace. Thanks again, guys, for watching. Uh, yeah, I'm fuming. Take care. Peace.